Hi, my name's Damien Wills, Chief Pilot Owner of GoFly Aviation, and welcome to this week's GoFly Tip. This week's GoFly Tip is our pre takeoff safety brief and making sure we do not turn back towards the field after we take off if we experience an engine failure. One of the most uh, highest causes of uh, aircraft fatalities in the circuit area is what we call the turn back. So the pilot has an engine failure after take off and tries to turn back towards the field without sufficient height or airspeed and loses control of the aircraft and usually it ends up in a stall with a, a spin accident. Self flying aircraft. Clanter X Sling 8068 is uh, entering on my uh, 2 3. For a circuit clanter. And copy is detected. Okay, so. Our pre takeoff safety brief will be basically basically if my engine fails below 600 feet on this runway here at 23, I will not turn back towards the field. I will land up to 20 degrees at either side of the nose in the sling aircraft. I dock this quiet speed, full flap, and make a mayday call if I get time with everything off. If I have an engine failure once along, established on crosswind uh, or above 700 feet, I've got the option then of landing on runway 1 2 here at Philandra. And Texas is for 271 if you uh, hold short of uh, 23, that's okay. I'll be holding short for 27. Okay, so once again, the pre takeoff safety brief is there to preempt, preempt you that if your engine fails after takeoff, so you don't have to think about what to do. We now want to automatically try and turn back towards the field. So the pre-takeoff safety brief is simple. If my engine fails before 600 feet here on runway, runway 23 at Calandra, I will not turn back towards the field under any circumstance. I will adopt this wide speed, 70 knots, and land up to 20 degrees at either side of the nose in the field. Select full flap when required. Give a mayday call if I get time. And uh, turn, the, uh, turn the master off. Once I'm at 700 feet, I then have the option of landing on runway 1 2. Let's have a look at that right now. Land traffic sling 86 80 to rolling at 2 3 for the circuit collapse. Eight feet alive, mission RPM, back pressure, and we're airborne. 70 knots. 300 feet plus up. And at 450 feet, I'm going to simulate an engine fire, so we're just take it off and all of a sudden our engine fails. First thing we do is nose down, adopt this flight speed 70 knots, and I'm going to land in that field straight ahead there. First stage flat. Quick mayday call. Second stage flat. I'm going to turn everything off. I don't want to get too low, so I'm going to go around now. So we can see there, I elected to land straight ahead and not turn back towards the field. Clear my left, clear my center, clear my right. Well, now over to, above to the hundred feet, I was established on my crosswind leg, and I wouldn't you know it my engine fails. First thing I want to do is head towards the field, I know I can make it, and I'm going to land on runway 1-2. Go to treat the red flight speed. Yeah. My direct sling 8068 is right base of runway 
that thing off there, so I get quite approach. Not to land. Shoot for 70 knots. We don't want to get too far away from the field. Doing my final approach. Get a quick mayday call. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Uh, fling 8668, complete engine failure. Collision to aerodrome. Landing runway 12. 1 POB, fling aircraft. Land. First aid flat, we will get in there. Gonna kind of overshoot a little bit, a little bit high. Second stage flat. A little bit of a side flip. So, one final can convince I'll get in. We can go full flat. Turn my mask off. And land as normal. Looking to the end. Holding it off. Then we land. So in summary, it's important before we take off, we do our pre-takeoff safety brief. And the idea of the safety brief is to make sure that we're prepared if our engine fails just after takeoff. The brief is simply that if my engine fails before a certain height, depending on your aircraft type and the aerodrome, I will not turn back towards the field. As a generic number, it's usually five to 600 feet. I will not turn back towards the field and I'll land up to 20 degrees either side of the nose. I don't miss glide speed. Give a mate a call if you've got enough time. Select full flap if you know you're going to get into that field, and then everything off. Once I'm, once I'm established either on crosswind or above a certain height, I then may have the option then of turning back towards the field, depending on that aerodrome or your aircraft type. Thanks for joining me today on Go Fly Tips.